Well, so the snow mountain was the first thing that we tackled today, and I tell you, my kids are pretty excited about that. They've wanted one for quite some time. And so we took just a lot of the, the back part of the driveway, pushed that snow into the backyard, and then I've been wanting to see how these plastic edges do. The skid runners and the plow edge are all a hard plastic called UHMW. Wanted to see if that was gonna mess up the yard too much. You know I like to take care of my yard. And it worked really well. You know, there was very minimal issues that were going on out there. I had a couple little areas that I scuffed it up. Um, I think you can also learn from um, seeing the 1025 drive over the snow. We've probably got a total, I would say, of, I don't know, maybe eight, nine inches total out there. Uh, we had a little bit of snow before this stuff came down. It traveled well through there. I was actually expecting it to get stuck <laughs> at some point, but we were able to push that snow really well. We ended up with a pile. I guess by the end, it was probably seven or eight foot tall. Plenty of space for the kids to have a lot of fun. All right, well, we got that snow mountain done. It was time to take care of the rest of the driveway. And our big flat landing up here is a, well, it's not the easiest thing, and it's mainly because of these garages. I hate how these garages are set up uh, with this corner. It can make it very challenging and difficult, but this back drag that we have on the snow pusher does make that a lot easier to be able to go right up to a garage door and pull the snow away, and then we can just push it where we want. And so, took advantage of what we could and made a little, a little hill here in the front yard. The kids like to use that for some extra momentum when they're sledding. And then came the treacherous driveway down, and that driveway is just such a pain. It's got all these compound angles on it, and it's very icy, it's very slippery, and it's just a challenge. But the snow pusher makes really easy work for that. Now, I thought about using the snow blower as well, but I like to use the pusher whenever I can. It's a lot of fun. It's easy to use right in front of you, too. And we knocked that out in just a matter of minutes. And we timed it just right so that when the county plow came through, they took our piles that we had right at the end of the driveway and cleared them right out for us. <laughs>
So last thing up was taking care of a couple of the neighbor's driveways. And you know, you can turn a monumental chore, thinking about doing that by shovel, and it just turns it into a joy. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun to see how quickly and efficiently these snow blowers operate. And I'm gonna point it out again. I've talked about it before, but this electric chute rotation, get a hydraulic rotation, get an electric rotation, whatever you can. But you can see me feather this if you pay close attention as you get closer to the end of the driveway or maybe by a house or by a car. It's just easy to hit a button and let that chute rotate a little bit more to make adjustments and make sure it's landing in the yard and not somewhere you don't want it to go. You know, and something overall that I've noticed, my brother's noticed as well, is just how quiet this entire setup is. The, the tractor, the engine is the loudest part of this, but you turn the snowblower on, it's completely quiet, right? The snow pusher with those plastic edges, it's not like you're, you're scraping steel along the road or along your driveway. And so that's very quiet as well. And uh, it may not seem like a lot, but if you're not plowing during the day, if you're plowing at night or plowing early in the morning and you live in a neighborhood or some other residential area, it's nice to feel like you're not completely waking everybody up and disturbing the entire neighborhood. So it's maybe a small consideration, but it's still a way to be considerate of your neighbors. I was just telling Chris how much I love this jacket, <laughs> how warm it keeps me, and, and it's true, it does keep me warm, but still, since, since I haven't been able to get my heated seat pad here to work because of that outlet, I had started looking into some of those heated jackets, like those Milwaukee battery-powered jackets. Honestly, there weren't that many reviews out there about them that I could find. I don't know if they're a really good quality, worth the investment, because they're not cheap, but do you guys use those or have any other heated jackets out there, any other brands to consider? I'd like to know about it. Leave a comment down below. Well, it may not look like it, but we actually just got done snow plowing and maybe by the time I'm done talking, I'm gonna have to start plowing again. But a lot of you guys love seeing these subcompact tractors in action and we have a John Deere 1025R behind us, HLA snow pusher up front, one of the pull type snow blowers behind us so we can drive over the snow and still blow it. Now, of course, we're a tractor attachment dealer so you can purchase these attachments from us if you want to. Check out goodworkstractors.com. But one of the big reasons that I like and a lot of folks like loader mounted attachments, three point mounted blowers is because a lot of us need to use our loaders for other applications year round. But if you're fortunate enough to not have to do that, you know, you can just pop your loader off, throw a front mount snow blower on or a frame mounted plow blade and get to work and be set for the whole winter. But make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. And while you're there, notice a little spot that says GWT Discount Club as well. So that's a whole collection of vendors that we partner with. You're gonna get a savings if you order from their website. You enter code GWT, on their respective website, select whatever products you want. You're gonna get at least 5% off of your order. They're gonna ship it right to you. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to see more. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe and stay warm and we'll see you soon.